everybody hello welcome and uh, well, this is another strategies tactics and boosts show for uh, f1 class this week's event the community choice event british grand prix and we are here to see the tracks we are going to race in the opening and final uh, round so this means well, the tracks we are racing uh, this uh, weekend and let's not waste any time, let's see our tracks. So as you can see uh, we are of course it's the British Grand Prix so this means that we are racing first track and last race Silverstone mixed conditions as uh, you can see maybe it will rain maybe not maybe we will have half dry and half wet conditions we'll see after uh, Silverstone we are traveling to uh, Abu Dhabi for a dry race uh, of course then Japan, Suzuka, Canada, Montreal, Melbourne, uh, Australia, sixth track, sixth race in Spain, Barcelona with 13% chance of raining. Then again, a dry race which will give us the fastest lap, Austria. And finally, as we said, we go back to Silverstone with the chances of raining or not being 50-50 so we will examine both both chances now let's go to our graphics and first of all we have Silverstone we have seen Silverstone, we have analyzed Silverstone for the qualifying uh, phase around, so we will just see our strategies and get to the next, get to our next uh, track where we have some significant changes in our strategies from last time. So, Silverstone. 4-3 medium medium with Taurus I have said so many times this is my favorite this is my favorite um, tactic uh, strategy to follow wherever you are especially when you are at the back uh, where you are, when you are not P1, P2, P3, P4 this is my favorite then 3-4 medium hard Zin Kavai mainly Kavai Zin or Wood mainly because we are going to use how fast we can go in uh, the corners with Kavai Zin and Wood. Of course, Parm and Eternal Flame is a choice, but with a different approach, we are boosting our overtaking in case we can uh, make it. Then, if we start at the top of the grid, 2-3-2 or 2-2-3, it depends. Dead fast, Hex, Eclipse, Instinct, Firework, Gladiator. We need something fast. We need to go P1 as fast as we can and then stay there. As I always say, when we are up against the real player and we are fighting for P1, P2, P3, P4. Our main, one of our main goals is fuel management. Because the fights are so tough, we always seem to get to run out of fuel. So if we need a boost, if we choose a boost against a real player, it would be nice to have some fuel boosting. 
so that's why dead fast and eclipse and easting instinct are my first choices here okay now uh, if it's raining give me one moment because i have okay now everything is okay and i'm back so if it's raining three four with frost maybe reindeer four three char and dragon char my main choice dragon my second i could see tuning fitting here but char would be my first choice And of course, if we are P1, P2, P3, this is our first choice. 2, 3, 2. Again, it's like when we are in uh, dry conditions. Hex or exception. Against the real player, I would choose exception because of uh, tire management. And as always, now I remember. <laughs> okay. I don't think I will do it once correctly and have my cell phone here uh, so let's see exception okay and uh, let's see exception as you can see two points in fuel boosting this is very important again uh, against a real player so that's it with Silverstone we did it a little bit on the run because uh, a little bit fast because we have seen Silverstone for the qualifying round so uh, let's get to see what we have for you in Abu Dhabi well Abu Dhabi as I like to say is a fast and furious track but but okay we have two big straights where we used to overtake with uh, boosts with speed as you can see both of them are in sector 2 the blue sector but sector 3 yellow sector and sector 1 they are full of corners so last week I tried some boosts with corners and grip for this track and if you saw my live stream videos you will see that I raced in Abu Dhabi with uh, Jin I think or Kavai I'm, I don't remember well I think Jin and it was perfect it was as fast as uh, dead fast so this is why of course 233 the undercut, dead fast eclipse, firework hex, gladiator, lumberjack, you know all of that. And this is uh, the undercut is very useful when you start at the back of the grid, but it's very useful if we're at the top of the grid too. And 332 for our second driver, mainly if we are in the middle of the pack or in front of the pack. If we are at the back of the pack, the undercut and something else. So this is the fast and furious tactics. This is the, how will I call them? I will find a name for these tactics. I will not say them the corner tactics. I will find something funny <laughs> to call them. So again, two, three, three and 332 the undercut and two pit stops 332 for our second driver but with kapai zin wood or skull skull mainly as i always say when we are when we want a lot of overtakings kapai zin and wood when we have a little less overtakings to do but believe me with kapai zin and wood you will see your driver overtaking in sectors one and three and you won't believe how fast they are going uh, your drivers will uh, go there so 
This is another approach. Uh, I used it, I tested it in a real event, not in duels, not even in qualifying. I tested it in opening and finals and it works perfectly so you can easily trust them. As I remember, I have decided last week, I decided one of my drivers to go fast and furious and the other one to to trust Kavai or Jin to be fast and it paid off. So, two different strategies and now apart from the undercut, if you start at the back of the grid, this is a very good strategy to go for. If you start below P15, P14 and lower, 4-4 with mediums, street shark if you want to go fast, downforce if you want to choose the corner and grips strategy. As you can see, okay. As you can see, downforce. It's all about grip and corners, and some tire management because we want to push. And mediums need some tire management to make four laps. Now the next one, Suzuka. Well, here nothing changes you can see by yourself that this is 90% a corner a track that needs a lot of boosting in corners and grip not so much in uh, speed speed is uh, or acceleration a little bit of acceleration is useful in the beginning of sector one the red sector and the end of sector 2 and the beginning of sector 3 you see there there is a nice straight there but mainly here what counts is corners so 4-3 as you can see hard and medium with hook, Kavai, Skull and Herald because if you don't have very good tire management from your drivers without tire boosting and hook, Kavai, Skull or Herald don't uh, give us tire boosting you won't be able to, to go for laps don't be afraid of hards don't be afraid Japan is not, Suzuka is not a fast track so hards is not a problem uh, don't count them out because they are the slowest compound. Hard medium 4-3 with these boosts and you will be fine. And of course the opposite 3-4 Wood, Hyunin, Jin. This goes as you can see Wood, Hyunin, Jin and Kavai Skull is you can use it in both strategies as you can see the same it's the same approach so nothing more to say here we want the corners let's see you need for boosting in corners although we are using TuneIn if we don't have all the others Wood, Jin, Kavai Tunin is very good even when used in dry conditions not in wet conditions of course if you want to go a little bit faster use faster compounds then we need some tire management 4-3 again medium, soft as you can see, Taurus, Eagle and Frost. Uh, this is a strategy we use a lot in other tracks too. We use the faster, uh, faster compounds, Taurus, and we stay close to all these 
other cars that will go for three laps in our, in our fourth lap we push and then we go on softs we have the fastest compound probably from any other driver any other car in the track we are faster than anyone Taurus gives us some boosting in corners so we mainly try to take advantage of using faster compounds with tire boosting and of course if we start these strategies are all if we start in the middle of the pack in the back of the pack of course if we start in front of the pack two two three even the last stint could be done with softs if we are if we are against the bot and we don't need to push we can go green and softs Oud, Kavai, Tunin and Zin as you see we don't need tire boosting here all we need is good grip and corners against the real player Kavai for sure the best choice then Zin and then Oud against a bot you can use either of them Believe me, it will be an easy one too. Okay, Canada. So, some players like to go fast and furious in Canada. I have seen it. But again, even in my early days, I preferred uh, other strategies for Canada it's a difficult to overtake track not so difficult when you try this 5-3 medium soft with downforce Wood or Nazar uh, with downforce and Nazar we can push even in the first stint with Wood we will be a little bit more conservative but we can do it easily we can go 5 laps with a medium compound all we try to do here is stay one more lap than the bots in the track overtake them while they are pitting make a fast last lap and then uh, do our pit and with the fastest compound try to stay ahead of them and even overtake a couple of them um, downforce very useful here because of corners and grip Canada is more corners and grip than uh, acceleration or fast and furious. The opposite strategy, three soft, five medium. I would like this one if, if we are at the back of the pack and if we are against the bot and we are in at the top of the of the grid okay we get p1 easily and then just cruise along until the end of until the end of the race as always if we do the pit stop early on the third lap then we don't care even if we have a safety car eagle rooster nazar and taurus would be uh, a good choice here A different approach is two equal stints with softs maybe soft and medium if because softs are a little bit on the edge to make four laps we cannot push a lot maybe we start with and this is better when we start at the top of the grid it's better to start with the softs if we are at the top of the grid Kavai the best choice Jin the second one and then wooden skull if we are p6 p5 p7 p8 skull a great choice because of corners and overtaking 4-4 four, four. if we can't go soft soft we start with softs and 
and then the second stint we do it with mediums believe me i have test, tried this strategy and it works perfectly and you can overtake a lot with these three um, boosts now some like it fast so we can easily choose medium medium 44 eclipse or gladiator but this would be my let's say last choice if i was starting p1 p2 okay maybe soft medium eclipse gladiator firework it would be my choice but uh, if I am further back P5, P6, P7 I wouldn't go for uh, for this strategy at the top of the grid yes of course we just we can easily go for vice just to have a good start and then uh, stay ahead now Australia this <laughs> this nightmare <laughs> for many players australia of course is a nightmare for many players and let's see it so 5-3 with uh, taurus a very good choice medium soft especially if you are in the middle of the grid p6 p7 p5 um, p9 p10 great choice uh, great strategy works very well taurus and eagle the best choices if you don't have one of these two of course the alternative is only frost mainly we are aiming to attack when all the others pit at the fourth lap okay now this is a very good strategy four four Downforce, Nazar and Eagle We could do it soft medium It would be marginal If we start at the top of the grid Then we can Go Soft medium But we have to go on the green a lot With the softs 4-4 four, four, uh, four, four, medium medium With downforce will work perfectly And with Eagle this is better when we start p4 p5 or if we are at the back of the grid it will work just fine and this is the fastest for me um, approach for australia but only when we start p1 p2 P3, mm, P4, that's it. Oh, give me, uh, give me one minute here. Okay, we had a minor problem. Okay, fix that. And let's see what I was saying. Okay, yes. This is the fastest strategy for me If we start at the top of the grid Kavai the best choice against a real player Kavai Every day of the week and twice on Sunday 3-3-2 um, three, three, And we are okay We don't need tire management Because we are doing two pit stops Softs are more than enough to do three laps and push Whenever we need Kavai will go fast as hell in tracks like uh, Australia against uh, a bot. Zin and Ud will do the will do the job. Now, if you are starting P5, P6, P7, even against a real player, Skull would be a very good choice here because we need overtaking, we need corners and we will probably need some fuel chasing the real player so 
we can easily go the same strategy both our drivers if one of our drivers starts p1 p2 p3 and the other one p5 p6 p7 cavai to the first one skull to the second one and believe me it will go uh, it, it works it works perfectly now we have one more strategy and this is mainly if you start at the back of the grid it's like an undercut 3-5 instead of hard you can use medium if your driver can support medium for australia taurus eagle the main choices frost the alternative i would consider taurus the best choice because we need more uh, tire management here so we can push in uh, in laps in laps four and five we need a lot of pushing there a lot of red battle but eagle can manage it too let's go spain barcelona if i remember well this is um a wet maybe we will have rain if i remember well let's see it again uh i'm lost yes 13 percent okay it's not there are not big chances of raining but you never know maybe we will have mixed conditions maybe we will have the traditional one minute rain one minute not raining you know all of that we have encountered many uh, times conditions like that so spain i usually tried to conquer spain by using tactics like 5-3 and 4-4 corners and grip and of course you if we see, uh, take a better look at the, at the um, if we take a better look at the map of uh, the track it's full of corners uh, so this is a good approach but this big straight will you see in the beginning of the first sector the red sector this uh, straight is uh, all we need to overtake everybody if we use fast and furious boosts of course here there is a debate as i said uh, in other videos whether fast and furious is the fastest strategy or corners and grip it's uh, a battle between dead fast and kawaii mainly but we're going to see uh, both of them because both of them work perfectly for me 5-3 I wouldn't go for um, two pit stops here only one pit stop so 5-3 medium soft with dead fast eclipse firework great choice alternatively 5-3 with more tires to push downforce nazar eagle maybe taurus would be a very good choice and this is a strategy for uh, wherever we start mainly all of the strategies i'm going to show you is for wherever we start in uh, spain now as I always say, when we start P1, P2, P3, P4, we like, I like to start with the soft compound. So, 4-4, soft medium, Eclipse, or dead fast. We could use dead fast. The fast and furious approach. Kavai or Jin, the corner and corners and grip approach. Both of them worked, worked uh, nicely. So, choose whatever you believe is better for me one driver fast and furious one driver corner and grip especially in the opening round and if you see big differences 
between these two strategies next time at the final round choose the strategy you thought was the best and finally 3-5 soft medium uh, Taurus Eagle the choice is because of the 5 medium uh, stint the second stint but we could easily do it with a fast compound dead fast but we would be a little bit more conservative uh, in the second uh, stint Taurus and Eagle I think is the most appropriate boost here for this strategy and maybe it is better when we start at the back of the grid or at the top of the grid we get P1 go fast 3 laps make a big gap do our pit stop and then cruise along the, the second stint go easily with uh, maybe some green some green button pushing in our second stint and that's it now if it rains well we lose the, the strategy and the tactics using different compounds we only have wet compound and here char for me is the best one of the best choices because because of four in corners and let's see it again this is what i want from char wetness and four in corners of course three entire management is very useful because we are going five laps with a wet compound but this four in corners i think it's the best choice here in spain when it rains of course 4-4 four, four. again as you see tune in and prince my two first choices let's go and see them you see prince two in corners k5 in blocking and one in wetness it works very well in tracks like spain japan in tracks with corners it works very well and of course you need a fast pit stop, pit stop but four in corners will give us the speed we need in those corners that maybe our opponent is slower if he doesn't choose a boost like that of course the alternative is hex and exception because we want to overtake everybody in that big straight in front of the pit lane so hex and exception are the best two choices for a fast and furious race when it rains and last 3-5 if you want to do the undercut even in a wet race of course first choice frost because it's a wet boost and if we don't have frost taurus would do the, uh, the job in instead of taurus we could go for another wet boost char or dragon which gives us air boosting and corners or fuel but i think frost is the better choice the best choice here for this strategy if you ask me i would go for the first two strategies 5-3 with char and 4-4 four, four with tune in or if we don't want to use the corner factor then hex or exception Austria where the fastest lap is counted again here a mixed race we have lots of medium straights lots of corners different approaches so 
Pyfor with medium, Herald, Kavai, Vice, or Firework. This is a strategy when you start below P6, P7. You go on yellow in your first stint and you push a lot. You can push a lot in the second stint. Uh, Herald would make you Herald Vice and Firework would give you the ability to be fast in straights. Kavai or Jin uh, or Wood will give you the ability to, to be fast in the corners. You choose what you want. Second choice, if we are in the middle of the pack or in the back of the pack, 4-5. Our second stint now is bigger. This is why we choose a boost, we choose boosts with um, tire management, downforce, Nazar and Eagle. All three of them have grip, corners and tire management because we are pushing a little bit in the first stint, not so much, but after our pit stop, we can push a lot in our second stint and to do so we need the tire boosting that these three boosts are giving us now <coughs> this is a strategy when you start p1 p2 p3 p4 maximum p1 p2 vice P1, P2, P3, P4, Firework. With these two, you are chasing the fastest lap. Vice and Firework alongside Claw and Whirlpool in your setup will give you the fastest lap. Now, if you are not at the top of the grid, if you are P4, 5, 6, 7, then 4, 5 with Kavai would be a very good choice. You can go, if you have two drivers, let's say P2 and P5. P2 can go with Vice or Firework and P5 with Kavai. You can have this mixed, strategy, mixed strategies or you can go with Downforce and with downforce, you will be able to push in both stints. With Kavai in the first stint and in the second stint, in both stints, you will be able to push a little, but you will be very fast in uh, corners and you will be able to um, overtake other drivers there in, uh, in those corners without even, believe me, without even needing to push the red button. So, this is a very good strategy when you are at the top of the grid between P1 and P5, P6. It's a very uh, good strategy. <laughs> now, alternatively, when you are chasing the fastest lap, you start P1, P2. If you like, you can do this 333 firework vice instinct we need we need acceleration in this uh, a little bit of speed we need acceleration uh, so firework and vice the best two choices as i said to do the fastest lap and with this one uh, we just split it's almost the same like this one, but we, we make one more pit stop and we want to make up for the lost time in the pit with our compounds and our ability to push more because now we don't uh, care about tire management and we can, push, we can push even more and we go only with softs, we don't use mediums. So, that's the key here. Uh, if you can manage it, if you are P1, 
if you get P1 in the first lap, then you can manage it. And when I'm up against a real player, well, I don't know. Probably I would like this strategy to have fresh tires and fastest tires and be able to be faster than him. But okay, this is me. We could easily uh, choose to go with this strategy and instead of speed, go for corners, Kavai, Ud, Jin, Tunin. Tested successfully in an event, so don't hesitate to use it. It's a very fast strategy and against real players. So mainly here I would go for uh, one driver with Firework or Vice and the second driver with Kavai, Jin or Wood. So that's it. This is the seventh race. And then again, we return to Silverstone, which means that we return to Silverstone, which means that we're expecting a, maybe a rainy a rainy race and let's see why i'm saying this as you can see 50 percent possibility 50 percent chance of raining and well i don't think that we're going to to make it out of silver or of silverstone four times in the weekend without a drop of rain so get ready study uh, both wet and dry strategies and be ready to be ready to to make it okay we have Give me one minute. We have a little problem here, but we are going to make it okay. And we are okay now. Sorry for that. These things happen. It's a live show. So, <coughs> sorry. So, let's go back here. Let's see revise what we are going to have in our plate for the weekend Silverstone, Abu Dhabi, Suzuka, Montreal, Melbourne, Barcelona, maybe with rain, Austria and again Silverstone 50% chance of raining. This is what we are up against the next couple of days. I hope that this video was helpful for you. As you have seen, we have uh, we have changed some, some strategies. We have adapted to what we have seen in the last uh, few weeks. So try them and give us feedback in the comment section below this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and stay tuned for our live streaming uh, on the weekend. Thank you, thank you so much, and I hope to see you next time.